Hey, hey everyone. Nice. Sorry, we we're, we're a couple of minutes late. We had a couple of connection issues because we are up in, on a mountain yes. somewhere. Literally uh, up on a mountain. A high elevation. <laughs> a high elevation. How high up are we? Uh, like 800 something meters? Yeah, 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 around the map. We're pretty high Above up. that. So if we do cut out during this live stream, we apologize. It might happen. Yeah, stay patient. We'll come stay back. Stay patient. We will definitely come back. Yes. You won't miss anything. Yes. Um, so you know where we are. Yes, yeah, so we are here in Yubei Fang Liu Ping. The Fang Liu Ping uh, village is just famous for its uh, pears. Mm -hmm. So this is one of our this uh, des destination and one of our purpose of the in this place. Why yes. don't you see this pears flowers? So they have this big pear orchard where they naturally grow all mm -hmm. these pear trees. Um, you can see the pear blossoms if you come at the right time. Mm -hmm. but you can also see how they make products from these pears. Um, yes. They have pear wine. They have pear, pear syrup. syrup. Uh, those are the two things that, that we know of up here. Mm -hmm. um, let me just start by showing you this little lake that's behind us. It's yep. really, really, really pretty. So we're way up on a mountain just uh, connected to a spring. And there's this beautiful... I think it's even called Emerald Lake. Isn't yeah, it? Emerald Lake. Emerald Lake because of the color of it. So yes. beautiful place. So we're off to a really good start. Especially especially when the drone just fly over to take the photo oh, yeah. of the lake. It drones will look good up here. Yes. We need to fly this drone. I need to get a drone. We need yeah. to get a drone. Yeah. We need to fly a drone. And we actually we saw a drone this morning. We saw a massive drone. Yeah. They have, it's not for, for photographing, though. No. That's a firefighting drone. Yes. Massive, massive thing that like can lift like 20 liters of water. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Gary. Hey, Gary. We will definitely keep you posted. That's what today is all about. So yes. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Shall we go find some flowers? Yes. Let's the go. The flowers are down here. I'm just going to switch have, the camera. Maybe we'll so have follow the see. trail. We'll follow the trail. I'm just going to switch the camera so you can see what we see because that's going to be a little bit more interesting. Yeah. There you go. So here's the lake that we were standing at. Beautiful place. And although it is a little chill up here, yeah. it's a very good looking place. All right. If you just uh, see from the bird view, it will be like a jet just embedded just among the trees. Yeah. It looks really good if you can see it up from up high. The highest I can go is like that. <laughs> there is a tree. Yeah. But I believe the flowers or the trees are this way. So there is this long path that you can walk on. There is this path that goes from here and you can go that way too. So you can go sort of the whole way over and then come back here, walk past the lake. Oh, sorry, sorry. The tree. Walk past here. Yeah. And we're going to go down this way. Yes. To find some pear trees. This, like this uh, pear archery. Over here, just uh, just one part of it. Actually, uh, just uh, Fang Liu Ping over here just boasts of uh, its uh, its pear plantings. Mm -hmm. This like this pear trees covered like uh, 14, 14, 14, mu. 14, mu, which is a Chinese measuring unit. So yeah. we had to do a little bit of calculation. Yes, a Chinese mu is about six hundred and sixty-six uh, square meters. Uh, it translates into about nine square kilometers of pear trees. I keep wanting to say peach, not peaches. It's pears. a pear. It's a pear tree. That, can you see, guys? This white flowers. So these white flowers a, are the pear flowers. Yes. Just allow it to spring. I know it's a little bit pity because we come over here a little bit late in during during this season. Yeah. At, at the last week, this uh, trees are in full blossom. You yes. can see more flowers. Last week you would have seen even more. So we missed it by like a couple of days. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk in. Yeah, just walk in. I think they told us we could do that. Yeah. If not, they will chase us out. <laughs> so you can come in and walk along all these pear trees. Uh hey the, Gary. The flowers is uh, quite the life of the flowers is quite short. You want to see you, you want to see? To see it, you must uh, say catch time to come over here. Yeah, so because we missed it by a couple of days. Like, if we had been here over the weekend or yeah. like Thursday, Friday, we would have seen many more flowers. It's also because week. it was raining over the weekend, so many of these yeah. flower petals have fallen down. But it's not just a little. I mean, if I turn the camera over this way, you can see this whole hill 
Oh, hey, most of play. these are pear trees, and we're actually down at the end of it. There is on either side, like stretching this way over. If I hold it up that way, yes, you'll undoubtedly see many, many, many pear trees, and even to the other side. So you can't see it for these trees over here, but that area is also covered in pear trees. There are lots and lots and lots of them. Because a uh, bit uh, farmers, local residents, they just uh, make a living on those uh, uh, pear trees. Yeah, so they've turned this from something small into like a new industry. Careful, it's a little slippery yeah. here. Let's, let's start with the two plants. There's a uh, pear trees uh, in 1980s, just uh, uh, and then just uh, after decades of work, and uh, this has been just devel developed into the, such a large scales. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, so they have like a 40 year history, is that what we calculated us? To. My math is terrible. Lighting 80s to, until now? Yeah, about mm -hmm. 40 years, right? Yeah, almost like 40 years, 40 years like that. Yeah, and before, and people just, how, do you know how they joined in this kind of planting, this Not industry? Really. How did that happen? Oh, uh, I just, uh, because there's uh, some farmers and uh, some residents over here just uh, tell me that uh, once they just, uh, before the when there is a low such kind of industry, mm -hmm. people over here just plant their field, plow the field, right. just uh, um, just uh, sell something like that. But they make made just a, to grow like what they needed, yeah, like, a little bit extra so they could sell it to the local community. Yeah, they just made a little money from that. Yeah, and so most the young people over here and the, or the young generation, they just. Uh, Move out of this area. They went to just I uh, went to Shenzhen. Go to the cities. Yeah, cities. To yeah, make like more money. From Zhou. Yeah. Like uh, those big cities to make more money, and uh, uh, the later this uh, local government try to attract more talents and especially local people to come back to build their hometown. So they just uh, come up with they came up with such a plan to plant those uh, pear trees mm. over here, and it has now it has been. Uh, developed into such a big, large scale. Yeah, now it's that. like a full-grown industry. Like not, mm -hmm. So not only now are they growing the trees, they're harvesting the plants and then making products out of those that they can then sell. Yeah. And so they have something recurring that happens every year. And especially at the beginning, you know, they, when they just start from the scratch, they in order to motivate them mm. to participate in that. They just, uh, for example, one move of their home, yeah. if they have that, and so they asked to just buy these trees seedlings to mm. them. The government just paid for the seedling yeah. and uh, also fertilize, fertilizers for that. Yeah, and so uh, they give them sort of what they needed to get started. Yeah, they to start it. And then meanwhile, they were there with like 80 yuan, yeah. 80 yuan for to start all that, or also teach them some skills, mm. just like that, too, for them to start. start. And so this is uh, what they did in the at the beginning yeah so this is also just a way to help like mm -hmm. there's been a lot of talk about poverty alleviation mm -hmm. and rural revitalization and all mm -hmm. these things and this is sort of one of the things that would, that's also been part of that process giving the people who are living on the countryside a way mm -hmm. to support themselves to make more money to lift themselves out of poverty yeah and i said the building is just for their residents mm -hmm. just for per person uh uh, everyone just made it like hundred, yeah. just um, like a couple, made a couple of hundreds uh, per year, yeah. per per person. It's quite a low, just um, uh, during the lighting eighties. Mm. But during lighting eighties, it's uh, after they plant that, they get some money better, just uh, like the a uh, couple thousand. Yeah, and now they get just like uh twenty. The average in the average for, is about twenty thousand. Uh, twenty thousand, yes, yes, yeah. it's yeah. just a bit With, larger. So twenty thousand maybe might not. For for someone living in a city, twenty thousand might not mm -hmm. be enough. But most of the people who live out here on the countryside, they don't have to pay rent for their houses. No. Like their houses are paid out because they're yeah. built by themselves. Because so they, they just have own them. A... Yes. And, and so they just need that money to support themselves, and they can do mm -hmm. other stuff alongside of it. Yes. So that's just money that comes in, which mm -hmm. is great. Yes, yeah, so especially and uh, you know just uh, over here as. Uh, what I know after in the summer when there's just a uh, pears just come out, this uh, pears is quite juicy mm. and very sweet and uh, crispy. So the sales of this pears yeah. is very good. Yeah, I'm not much of a pear person myself, mm. but we've t so we've been here uh, during the morning mm. already filming another episode with uh, some of the Ubay Media Center. Yes, and so we've already tried some of the product that they have. We'll show you those later. They're good. Yes, some good pear stuff.
Yeah, just like the pear syrup, side the pear at home. Yeah. Yes. Can we show we, stay, we stay clear of the alcohol, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, no alcohol for us. <laughs> no, I don't, not at all. No, can no. We, can we show them? Yes. Some I'm more gonna photos? switch. Sorry, look at my ugly mug here. There we go. So, like rows upon rows of pear trees. There are many, many, many of them. Yeah. And you would have been able to see many more of the pear flowers here. All of those trees are planted by the local residents, the local farmers. Yes. So this is yeah. all just done by the locals, and this is sort of what they do. Like the, by the end of this year, and uh, they will get some... Uh, dividends. Um, yeah, dividends from the government. Hmm. Raza okay. likes the scenery around us. We like it too. There is something very calm and serene about getting out of the, of the city. Am I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a city dweller. Absolutely. <laughs> I love the city. But it is nice to, to get out and see places like these. Just now, it's also this pear festivals. Mm -hmm. uh, because we time over here on Monday, because Chinatown, Chinatown here is Monday. Yeah. And so, not uh, so many tourists, but uh, this, uh, it, it will, during the weekend, they will be packed with the tourists. Yeah, and markets and, yes. and people going around. And meanwhile, during the uh, pear festival, pear blossom fest festival, people will come here to, like, uh, Climbing the mountains, take photos. Yeah, so this is also, so not only is this a place of business, so to speak, but mm -hmm. this is now also turned into sort of a resort area yeah. where you have tourists coming in. There are hotels yeah. you can stay at, yeah. places to eat, places to get like coffee and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're also not only doing sort of the business side of things, but also uh -huh. trying to develop this into... The four, the national four A. Yeah, tourism. so they want to upgrade it to a four A, the national four A tourist attraction. Yes. To attract visitors to come here, which is, of course is also another source of income for the locals. Yes. Where they can help um, sell more of their products. And, yeah, and some stuff. locals just uh, here just uh, run on their own business, like uh, like this hotels, yeah. so advertisements, and also they also joined into this factories because the factories are funded by the by themselves, right. you know, they were hi they are hired over there to make wines mm. and also the syrups. Yeah, so they're, just, they're almost working for themselves because yes. the whole industry here is based off of them. It was made for them. Yeah. And so it also benefits the people who live here. Just trying to get as close as I can to these flowers. So do you guys love flowers? Yeah, how do you think about these peach flowers? We really wish oh, we could have shown you... Oh, sorry, now I said peach. Pear flowers. Yes. So sorry. Pear flowers. Hi, Brenda. Thank you for joining us. They are beautiful. They are very yeah, beautiful. Very beautiful, especially when last week. We must. We must. We can only try and imagine what they must have looked like when we were here. I mean, even the flowers that are left still look good. Yeah. They have been. Those flowers haven't been fall out totally. Yeah. Because I guess because this elevate here it has has the wind have yeah. has protected them. The trees has protected the wind from you know blow them away. Yeah. Can we walk down a little bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So to maybe show the path. left side. You see Careful. these flowers? This tree. Oh, that tree is like full of flowers. Yeah. Full of flowers without leaves. Yes. This one is like a flower heaven. Yeah. <laughs> like if we were last away to you, we come over here, we see like that. Most of the trees would have looked exactly like this. Yeah. So the thing about these pear flowers is also they bloom, the, the flowers bloom now, but the pears don't start coming until, until like a, August. August. It will be the... Which, uh, the ripe sea, the yeah. harvest season for this. The harvest season for the yes. pears. Uh, no, China is not all factories and buildings. It does have much more than that. Well, there is a factory that makes the products for these pears mm -hmm. here where we are. But um, yeah, Rasa Khan, you're, you're right. There's so much more to China than just big cities and, and factories. So much more. But you don't even have to go far. How far are we from downtown now? 64, 64 kilometers. kilometers and you wouldn't even have to drive this far to find scenery like this like this is just because we were going to a very specific place but as long as you get out of the city yes 
especially in the morning when we come over here it's a little bit of drizzle mm. and all of this place are just a uh, uh, tower. Smoky mountains. Almost. Yeah. There's so much that. fog in the air. You'll probably get that during the evening too. Mm -hmm. Um, Like when the sun starts going down. Mm -hmm. you know, when you walk over among the trees, it's just like you are walking in the fairy tale. Yeah, it's a completely different world because yeah. everything is just locked off. Yes. The flowers are awesome. Yes. They are awesome. Yes. Do you want to go further down? Yes. Why not? See if we can get a better view. I think maybe the edge of the hill is down there. Yeah, maybe we can get some more exercise. Some more it's so close to the nature, guys. <laughs> Sometimes you got to just enjoy being outside when you can. Just careful. It's a little slippery. Yeah. Watch out. I'm going to try not to fall and hurt ourselves. But if I do fall, I do it for you guys. Watch out. Here you can see that tree. trees. Yeah. The more steps. I am convinced this is why the locals are in such good shape. Steps yeah. everywhere. I can imagine mm -hmm. if the weather is good, you have a bunch of people just coming up here taking. Photos, photos, bringing whoever they know who might have a camera and know how to use it. <laughs> and during the Pear Flower Festival, they also host a lot of activities. For, it, for example, like climbing, mm -hmm. climbing mountains, the trails, and also like a photo photography, yeah. uh, photogra photo competitions. Yeah, competitions. Oh, I should enter one of those. Yes, yeah, so you should bring your cameras. <laughs> uh -huh. And also like the playing chess over here. This would be some, a good place to play chess. Yeah. Yeah. Some people, you know, some young, some young people will dress up for this kind of you know, flowers. For example, they will put on their hanfu to show oh, out to here the as audience. Well? Yes. Yeah. There you go. And some lady will play like, the traditional music instrument, like gu zheng among the flowers. Nice. We just missed it. Yeah, we just missed it. <laughs> and meanwhile, there also a concert. Mm. Yeah, will be here. Yeah, so doing a lot of activities to yeah to find a way to attract people. This is a one. Is this a festival? This is a, a pear flower festival, and uh, which will also just bring more money to their locals. Yes. So it's yeah. all about finding ways to make use of of the scenery that you have, and mm -hmm. then find a way to make it. To to turn it into some sort of benefit because yes. a lot of people would look at a place like this and see mm. a mountain and go, well, we can't use that for anything. Like, what 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 should we do with this? But I, I actually we can make a uh, good use of this mountain. So you know, it's a lot about this uh, flowers. So yeah. you can come over here during the spring to see the flowers, and uh, during the summer you mm. can come over here to pick up this uh, fruits. I mean, while we can host some activities, yeah. you come over here, for example, there's a sports, sports competition, photography competition, yeah. like that. mountain climbing, all of it. So lots yeah. of things to do. So places like these more and more is also not just about going to a mountain to look at a trail. They usually find mm -hmm. other activities you could do as well, because not everyone wants to climb mountains. Low. But maybe you got a family of four, and three of them <laughs> want to climb a mountain. You need something for the fourth person. Yeah, so you don't want to come over here. You can drive up here, over here, and the, the I think the price they have set for their photography competition is quite high. Oh, and really? the, yes, quite really? high. Is, you miss that. Oh. Yeah. I miss everything. And the come over here to play Chinese chess. That could I could see why sitting here or playing mm -hmm. Wei Qi or something. Mm -hmm. Could be for example, yeah. by that little tree. Yeah, there's a little bench here that is just yeah. sitting sort of on the side of the road. You could totally sit there, play some games. I drink just some coffee. Drink some coffee. Yeah. Or peach tea. Yeah, peach tea. Is there such a thing? Peach tea? I'm sure there is. Yeah. There must be. So, uh, in your country, Mikhail, mm -hmm. what people will do with the pears besides eat them? Is there any some other kind of product? Any other kind of product with pears? Yeah, mm. pear related. I mean, we, I think mostly we just eat them. Just eat we them. use them sometimes for like baking and cooking. Uh -huh. um, but apart from that, 
-hmm. I think we really just mostly eat pears. I think you could probably get like pear syrup and something similar mm -hmm. in Denmark, but I don't think we make it that much. How about our audience? Yeah. What do you guys do with pears? Yeah. I didn't know you could make alcohol from besides, pears until besides like a year. That. Also, also besides this... eating them. Let me just show you these steps. I mean, I am... Go <sighs> way bad. Yeah, we should have... That was a bad idea. <laughs> the Look at that. This whole way up here. We just walked down these, and now we're walking back up. I'm going to turn the camera forward because it's not easy keeping both of us in the frame yeah. as we walk up the steps. So what What do you guys will? Yeah, so everyone who's watching, what mm -hmm. do you use pears for? Like, obviously, you can eat them. Yeah. Do you use them for cooking? Do you use them for Maybe juice? For juice. And then also we'll make this juice out of our pears. Yes. And also there's a pear at house. Like pear wines. And just uh, this morning, we just uh, tried some of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that test? The the pear wine? Yeah. It was it was strong. Uh -huh. <laughs> the alcohol percentage was high. You could taste that as soon as you got it in your mouth. Uh -huh. It was good, though. I mean, uh -huh. it tasted similar to kind of a Chinese baijiu, uh -huh. um, but it did have a hint of uh -huh. a pear flavor. It was uh -huh. subtle, but... It was good, like not too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Ah, snares. Watch out. I don't like them. <laughs> you have done a lot of sports, you know, this afternoon. Yes. So this is not the first time we're walking on these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually more like the third. Whew. Last time, remember last week, what did you do? Yeah. So Can last week we were in Mountain right? Valley. Right. Also just stairs. There's the lake again. Yeah. Ah, just need to catch my breath. And then this way, more stairs. That's why I say Chongqing is a mountain city. Yeah. And a lot of uh, things are built along mountains. Yeah, so they're making use of, of the mountain scenery as much as they can, not only for the building, but also just to create amazing sceneries. I think this place is perfect for flying a drone. Yes, this is drone heaven. It's all I want to do right now is just pop out a drone and fly it. Yeah. Unfortunately, the one drone we did see today was a firefighting drone. Wouldn't take very good pictures. <laughs> but, you know, maybe we can borrow it. Yes. Let's run up and ask. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, uh, before we get to the, our lab's destination, it will be a little bit a long It's a little bit walk. of a walk. But at least it's pretty. Yes. The little trail. Moving around, I don't feel the cold as much. It is a little cold up here. The elevation is quite high. And besides, uh, it, the temperature just uh, dropped sharply. Yeah. It was really nice weather last week. And then this week, it just got much, much colder. Usually, like uh, last year or the year before last year, the pear flowers won't come out so early. Yeah. But this... During this year, the temperature just in February is so high. We had a couple of days in February where the temperature was like almost 30 degrees, which was ridiculous. Never seen anything like it. You have put on a short shirt. I was wearing shorts and t-shirt that day. Yeah. It's crazy. So which Talking dress? to my parents back in Denmark because in Denmark it was snowing that day. <laughs> <laughs> Such a contrast. Yeah. Your parents must miss this place. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, catch up breath. This is worse than Mountain City Alley. <laughs> more work. More, more exercise. Work, more exercise. I mean I need it. <sighs> Try to lose the weight. To That's lose why the weight. Chongqing people, especially for girls, look yeah. so slim. Ah. <sighs> My God, I can see the top, but that's not the last of it. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
when we get up, we're going to put this down and rest for a minute. <laughs> Uh, uh, finally made it up. Over oh, here, <laughs> we're going to uh, this tourist center. Yes. And over there, we're going to show guys their pair related I'm products. I'm glad I'm not the only one struggling to breathe. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, guys. Ah. So this is where we came up. So now we have more tourists from over here, see? Yeah, these are the first we've seen. So more tourists from over here. here to visit. So this morning it was completely empty. Because it's raining in the morning. Yeah, um, the weather wasn't so good. I think the sun will come out a little bit. It might. The sky looks a little treacherous. Yeah. But... Sometimes you have to just grab it and say, you know what, let's do it. Yeah. And then make the best of it. Yes. Now we come over here to your tourist center. Fang Niu Ping. I only recognize the Niu. <laughs> I recognize the Ping as well. Just, do you know this year? What's this year? This year is the year of the ox. Yes. It's New Year. The same new over there. Same, same new. Words. Now we're in the tourist center. The center. And uh, right. where do we find some samples? Oh, over here. Oh. Oh, follow me. Hello. Hello. So these are some of the products that they make? Yeah, the products. On the left side here. This is the alcohol, and this is the uh, syrup. The syrup. And we can 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 it's just like this. The year, the color just looks like this pears. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit light yellow. And so I tasted this one earlier. What and do you it think has of a little it? bit, it, it tastes good. It has a little bit of that baijiu flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but yes. it still has, you can still taste the pear in it. And so it's very balanced because sometimes it can be, it can be a little hard to drink because the alcohol uh -huh. percentage is a bit high. Is that a good for a lady? This? Mm -hmm. well, I, mean, I know they have different mm -hmm. percentages. Mm -hmm. So one of them is 53%, the other one is 45%. Let me ask her. Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah. 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 53, 45, and then... Maybe 20, like 20? that. Yeah. Which will be fair or whatever. That's similar to like a glass of wine, maybe. Yeah. A little bit easier to handle, yeah. Yes. Touch. This is... Oh, oh, oh. This is a pear syrup. So you can use this either to make it as a drink by like pouring it into... Like pouring a little bit into a glass. Adding, adding hot water to it. Yeah, hot And also, I think you can apply it on the bread. Yeah, like yeah. jam almost. Yeah, like jams like that. That's also, have we tried that? I tasted this as well. It's very, very, very sweet. Like it tastes uh -huh. like syrup, like you would expect, mm -hmm. like very sugary. Mm -hmm. But again, with that pear flavor. Oh. It's subtle, but I think it should be subtle. I don't think you want it to overpower it. Uh -huh. uh, you know, this is... Oh. Oh. Right. It also will help you if you catch some cough. Oh, you can cough. use a cough syrup? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's good if you have like a yeah. cold or something. Yes. Just to so help you just treat this yeah. cough. So what but else? So obviously it has pear in it. What else is in the syrup? Because usually if you make cough syrup, it has to have like some certain ingredients. Okay. So, so this, there's also some other things. Okay. 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 Okay
onions. Just right. only pure, pure pear. Just pure pear. Yeah, pure fruit. That's all we need. Yes, that's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> just remember, guys, just the pears also can help you just uh, treat, heal your cough. Yeah. Yeah, I you will catch a cold. In in China, like I know that my wife makes this for me when I have a cold. Like、mm. she will just cut a pear up and then、mm -hmm. boil it. Yeah. Or steam it rather. I like, think, put it in a bowl and steam it and then just drink that. I don't know. I think you can just use that mix up with some water and、yeah. drink it, or just apply it as a braid. Or just、one. drink it straight from the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> If you just、uh, whatever kind of flavor you like. Yeah. Yes. That works. Yes. 还有没有其他的就是关于这些产品呢？啊，那个就那个梨膏酒。梨膏酒哦。Oh. They have another alcohol. Oh, this is also梨做的吗？梨子。那个熬成熬成梨膏肠泡制的那个梨膏酒，哦、oh, ，泡制的不是直接酿，直接酿的，所以就是哦，就是直接把，就是直接把它放到这个白酒里面这么泡酒，然后用在这个梨膏肠，然后然后酱放在那个土里面，然后埋一层。哦哦，就是这梨膏，然后把它放到白酒里面，哎、然后然后把然后弄在地底下，地窖里面，然后然后埋着用土，用土埋着。哦、哎 oh, ，this kind of wine is different from that one. Okay, how so? Because that's why you will need to distill it, right? Yeah. So it stay ferment.、Mm -hmm. And this one just use the this、uh, kind of syrup, and mix with the bajiao, and、oh. then put it in the jar、yeah. and bury it、uh, under the soil. And just let it sit there. It's a different.、Yeah. It's different fermentation process. Yeah, fermentation. It's different、yeah. fermentation. It's just like not like this distill. Yeah. Interesting.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. 是不是到底要大概要制多少时间呢？放搁置？哦，五年。五年才能不？八年。哦、oh, ，five years to five years to make this one. To make this, wow. This kind of alcohol. This is very long. 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 This is Yes, it'll 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 bubble up pretty good. This is a this is ninety how much? This is five years. Oh, it's five years. Oh, this is is it very new? This is quite new. And you know, Chinese people when Chinese people drink the bai jiu, they like to put we it be late put as longer as possible. Yeah, it tastes better. Yeah, similar to like whiskey, wine, and wine. Yeah, yes. Sometimes it's just. The longer you you leave it, the better it gets. Yes, it's always worth it. Yeah, great. Lots of stuff. How good? Are there any other? 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 如果就是这销量就是游客到这边来了之后，他们嗯，然后买的人还是很多。啊、yeah. ，So visitors come over here. The、yeah. as almost every family will bring some.、Mm. Buy something. Yeah, to put those. Yeah,、children. I mean because, that's sort of what you do. Like you go to a special place, you buy the special things that they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Over here, you just a quite a ecological.、Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is all organic, isn't it? Oh、mm, yes,、yeah, organic. Grow the trees, pick the pears. Yeah,、processes. yeah. 哎，那这是什么？啊，这个是就是一些，这是我们赤祖的那个特产哦，青椒叶，青椒调料哦，大明坡春的哦。Oh, oh, 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 o
such as they uh, open the hotel or agritainment. Yes. So have agritainment, you, if you've yeah. never heard that word before, I know I certainly haven't. It's just mm -hmm. agricultural themed entertainment, basically. Mm -hmm. Let me walk on the other side of you because I'm right-handed. Okay. <laughs> it's a little easier. Yeah. There we go. So it's agricultural themed entertainment. Mm -hmm. But what, what exactly do they have up here? That over here, people just receive visitors and uh, they will prepare some uh, delicious food, mm -hmm. local food. And for example, they use their own uh, home grown grown plants yeah. and uh, also there there's some other kind of food that grow by, by themselves yeah, so to serve to all the local stuff that they can yeah. grow here themselves and process and and uh, the serve to their people and the people come over here this uh, entertainment also can play mahjong a sort of entertainment the staple of yeah. coaching entertainment <laughs> and they also can spend one night over here you can live over there yeah they've got a lot of bedrooms mm -hmm. yeah yeah so they have a lot of like small hotels guest houses yeah um and like we said earlier like places where you can eat mm -hmm. and of course mm -hmm. They have more stairs. Yay. <laughs> Over here. So we are going to what? Walk up to the road. Whew. Climb the stairs. Today is exercise day. Yes. I do not need a gym membership anymore. <laughs> so what's our, do you get any new comments from our audience? Uh, many people say it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the comments yeah. about China having much more than buildings and factories. People just like the flower field. Or the, yes. The peach tree, peach, pear trees. Uh -huh. So sorry. Upstairs, I would have to get more flowers. Whew. Over there. Uh, I it's can a, see the top. You can just show them the two sides, the other side. They also get some flowers over there. Also, some flowers over there. <laughs> oh. First person view, guys. So it is a little bit of a windy road to get up here because we are far a bit out of the city. But this road is new. -ish. Yeah. So despite it being a little bit windy, mm -hmm. it's easy to drive on. And so there is no problem. More here. flowers. Has you got more flowers. Is that a cherry blossom or something else? I'm not sure they're cherry flowers. I don't know anything about flowers, so Ridden shouldn't speak. Does anyone know what these flowers are? I don't know if you can see them clearly. It's not cherry. I don't think it's cherries. No? Something else. Flowers! We have flowers. But here is what we call so this the is the entertainment. entertainment. So it's a in large Chinese, hall. You see the paintings that show the local... Oh, the local people. Local people here. And what they do. It's a fairly big place, this too. Yeah. And fun fact, I was talking about this earlier. So those of you who've been watching our channel for a while, they know that I am from Denmark, and just so happens, this song they have on the screen over here What's is from it? a Danish band, and I cannot remember their name, but I'm pretty pretty sure. Yeah, maybe you can sing one. Uh, I would rather not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, you know, one part of the they eat the food. The, there's a canteen room. Yeah. So this is a big canteen. It's obviously empty now because it's after lunchtime. We were in here earlier mm -hmm. uh, having lunch in a small private room off to the side. Yes. And uh, they will serve whatever they grow. Yes. So free. I think all the food we had earlier was locally grown as well, yeah. right? So just stuff that they had. The, the family raised the chicken, fish, and uh, their local grown vegetable. Quite fresh, quite organic. China is, is a great place for everything organic, isn't it? Like for mm -hmm. a long time, I didn't really think of China as a place that had organic food, but I've had a lot of mm -hmm. 
good organic mm-hmm. food in China because most of these farmers they just grow things mm-hmm. out in in land that they own themselves yeah. using all natural resources. Yes. And then they will sometimes take that into the city to mm-hmm. sell. Mm-hmm. Like so many times if you buy stuff from the supermarket, you don't really know where that comes from, but if no. you buy it from a farmer on the street or in those markets where they sell their things, you sort of know that they just grew it themselves. Yes. And that it's fresh and healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is good. This is great. So we need more of that. Yeah. What else can you do here? So this is obviously a restaurant. Yeah, I'm restaurant. guessing they have mahjong rooms and stuff in here as well. Yeah, What's you know, just like the owner. What's the owner? Just a this local farmer mm-hmm. over here, and uh, he before he just uh, worked outside. I yeah. think. That's uh, over here. If we want to know more information, maybe we need to interview the owner. Do you want to see if we can find him? Yeah, let me find that. Sure. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
yeah, to promote them. Yeah. Makes sense. So, 就是现现在就是像这春季这种，就是赏花的季节。你们的话，这边日均的接待量是多少？呃，日均接待量起码一天是五六百人吧。Oh, it's just a, per day they will receive like five hundred to six hundred guests during this season to see the flowers. 嗯。那如果就是像夏季的话，过来度假的了，休假。接到，他会是大概是多少了？每天的接待量呢？夏天我平均每天是两百人，两百人。两百人哈。哦，就是 in the summer， 就是 every day it will be like， 呃 ，two hundred to three hundred per day。That's not bad. Yeah， 是不是就大家来的话，在这边是一般是会选择，除了就在这边吃饭以外，他们会在选择住宿吗？有，有住宿哎。嗯。你们这边常规有多少？常规有接待的有八十个人，不止八十个人。哦，这 bedroom can you know there many bedrooms and the total number of the tourists they can receive is just like eighty. Eighty? Yeah, eighty people they can receive yeah. to living here. Are they busy during the the seasons? Like do do they get filled up? 呃，如果像夏季的话，还有或者春季的话，这种他们会不会时常爆满？ Mm, yeah. 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 Ye
，然后就就形成了那个青椒的那个鱼呀、啊，可以用来做青椒鱼呀，青椒酥，都很好吃。So I think it's a green pepper fish. Yeah. It's used as a, some sort of seasoning. Mm. As a chocolate and the uh, include dice. Yeah. And uh, the put the uh, heated oil on that and then put the heated oil on the fish. You know. I've seen that. I've had that a couple of times. Yeah. You like that? I'm not much of a fish person. It tastes good, but it's just in China they serve fish with the bones, and it's just too much work for me. <laughs> right. Cool. Ah, so this was just the back area of this canteen area here. Let me just switch this back. Uh, let me just switch this back da -da -da, without falling over the steps. There you go. Hey. Hi. So, fun. Hello. Let me step over here. Ta -da, we're dancing. <laughs> yeah. So, so this was our little trip to, uh, what was this place called again? Fang Niu. Fang Niu Ping. Village. Yeah. Village, which is, um, we'll put a link to the location of this place mm -hmm. down under this video so that if you want to go and check it out, you can. Mm -hmm. As he said, they welcome foreigners. They already have foreign visitors, so yeah. should be no problem to come here. And they have, what, 80 beds? Is that? Uh, yes, is that I receive 80 people. 80 people. So you yeah. may want to book it in advance if you're planning on coming. But mm -hmm. if you like being outdoors, if you like hiking on the mountains, yeah. if you like pear trees, if you like pear alcohol or pear syrup, pear anything syrup. pear, or if you like yeah. to go fishing, or mm -hmm. just enjoy the kind of the food and scenery that you get here, you can definitely come check it out. And if the summer you just feel too hot in Chongqing, Dantong, you can move up over here. So, this is, uh, Perfect place to escape, to escape the, heat. the heat. So anyone who has lived in Chongqing throughout the summer will know just how hot and humid it is. And going up into the mountains is a great way to just escape the heat a little bit. Yeah. So we'll wrap it up from here at our little acritainment center. Mm -hmm. This is it for this time. Um, make sure that you follow our channel. Leave us a like on the video. Leave us more comments down below if you want to see anything in particular. Um, we're going to uh, Datu later this week, and we'll do a bunch of live streams over there. So definitely stay tuned for that. Yeah. And uh, we have lots more programs coming and things to do and things to see. So uh, yeah. just uh, stay tuned. You can find us on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We are on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Uh, we'll leave a link to all those pages down below. So anytime you want to know something about Chongqing, yes. just come here. Yeah. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.